Hello everyone, welcome to Just Learn Civil. This is another tutorial in e structure series. We will learn about why high rise building attract low earthquake load. First, let us understand the time period. Now, time period is given by 2 pi root under m is divided by k, where m is the mass of the building and k is the stiffness, which is inversely proportional to the cubic of the height of the building. Now suppose this is the building when there is earthquake load then it will sway like it will go here then again return to this place and it will keep oscillating between these two so the time period is the time taken by the building to start from here and again reach here so for we will see what happens for the tall building and small building Now this is the tall building and this is the small building. This is the time period and this is stiffness. Now for tall building mass is more. So as this quantity is more time period will be more because time period is directly proportional to mass. Similarly height is more. This height is more. So height is more k will be less because inversely proportional and as k will be less it means time period will be again more so for tall building time period is more now for small building mass is less height is less so stiffness will be more height is less so stiffness will be more more stiffness means less time period hence time period is less so in conclusion we can say that tall building has more time period and small building has less time period now spectral acceleration this is the graph from is code now you can see here for tall building t is more let us assume t is 2 this is somewhere about 0.5 now for a small building somewhere about 1 because time period is less now we will use this value in calculation further for tall building yes is equals to 0 0.5 we found from the graph now let z is equals to 10 that is the maximum ground acceleration now yes is equals to only 5 now AH is the horizontal acceleration that is given by this formula Z I S is divided by 2 R times of G which is obtained from the IS code. Now VV is equals to W into AH is less. VV is less because AH will be less for tall building. Why? Because time period was more and yes A by G was less. VV is the seismic base shear force and W is the weight of the structure. For a small building, yes is equals to 1, g is equals to 10, so yes is equals to 10. Now a h is equals to z i s a by 2 r g. Yes a by g is more. So v b will be more. V b is the seismic base shear. Hence, tall building attracts low earthquake load. Suppose this is the building, so base shear acts here. Now this is the story. This base shear is distributed proportionately in each story as the earthquake load. More base shear means more earthquake load. Less base shear means less earthquake load. Hence tall building attracts low earthquake. 